Welcome back. Clearing waste from the world's tallest mountain has been a focus for Nepal's army in recent years. Well, this year a team of soldiers and Sherpas not only removed tons of trash from Mount Everest, but also the bodies of climbers who died. CNN's Michael Holmes reports. Thousands of people have tried to climb Mount Everest, some successful, others have lost everything trying. But it's not the glory of summiting the tallest peak in the world that's motivating these climbers. It's about cleaning up the mountain that's a beacon to hundreds of adventurers a year. Once again, a clean-up team of soldiers, Sherpas and porters braved some of Everest's most inhospitable conditions to remove hazards that have collected along the route. One of the team leaders says it is dangerous but increasingly urgent work. Because of the effects of global warming, the bodies and trash are becoming more visible as the snow cover thins. The team recently battled Everest's frigid temperatures, whipping winds and altitudes with low oxygen levels to remove 11 tonnes of garbage from the mountain. And at times uncovering much more difficult things. Viewers might find the next image disturbing. It took painstaking work, hours if not days, to dig out some of the bodies of dead climbers entombed in the ice. We have to bring them back as much as possible. And if we keep leaving them behind, our mountains will turn into a graveyard in the future. We have to bring them back. The bodies were flown to Kathmandu for identification. The trash sent to sorting facilities to try to recycle what's salvageable. New rules now require climbers to haul their own garbage off the mountain, but there's still a backlog of unwanted materials on Everest, some from decades ago. The garbage collected is what the climbers leave behind on the mountains. Mostly there are packaging of food, like can and tin and plastic. Apart from that, there are shoes, clothes and tents. There's also a lot of broken glass and some ropes. The lead Sherpa of the recovery team estimates there could be 40 to 50 tonnes of garbage near the summit of the mountain, layers deep and frozen solid, an almost insurmountable task to remove, but just like climbing the mountain itself, if there's a will, it can be done. Michael Holmes, CNN.